now we are entering into his final year of contract at Tottenham. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, we touch on new Liverpool plans on Alfonso Davies' proposal and what does it mean for his future, but also Pierre Hoiberg and Lewis Hall. Let's jump into it together. And guys, let me start by mentioning Pierre Hoiberg because in the recent days the Tottenham midfielder has signed with new agency with USG Italy. So after being close to Atletico Madrid and Fulham one year ago, summer transfer window 2023. Then in January he was in the list of Juventus, Napoli, but nothing happened because Tottenham always said permanent transfer or nothing. For Pierre Hoiberg, now we are entering into his final year of contract at Tottenham. Uh, his current deal expires in summer 2025, and so Tottenham know that at this point is sell the player or lose him as a free agent because there are no negotiations over new deal at this stage. So keep an eye on Hoiberg because uh, there will be conversations over potential summer exit for Hoiberg and there are possibilities around Europe. So I expect Hoiberg to be one of the names in this summer transfer window. He's also going to be one of the names, Alfonso Davis. His agent um, spoke to me yesterday with an exclusive interview telling me in a statement that Alfonso is now only focused on Bayern. Uh, there is no agreement with any club at this point. And he also added a line saying we will consider our options for the future in the next months. So Alfonso will take his time to decide. We know Real Madrid are pushing. We know Real Madrid are working on this deal. We know Real Madrid believe that personal terms will not be an issue with Alfonso Davis. But Real Madrid don't want to pay crazy money for Alfonso. I already told you that multiple times. So let me explain about this. Real Madrid want Alfonso Davis. But they believe that with the player being out of contract in summer 2025, they want to pay a fair price, something that is not going to be the 60 or 70 million euros rumored on the German press. Real Madrid believe that this is too much, that the value has to be different. They rate Alfonso Davis, obviously, but the contract length is a factor. So the price tag decided by Bayern will be really important to understand the future of Alfonso Davis. And also remember that Bayern, till the end of this season, so till the summer transfer, the window, May, June, they will keep insisting on extending the contract of Alfonso Davis. Otherwise, they will be open to discuss his exit in the summer transfer window. Summer transfer window will be really important for Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp is leaving. New board is expected. I told you with an exclusive news about Michael Edwards and Liverpool trying once again to convince him in the past days. Now the conversation is ongoing between Liverpool owners, FSG and Michael Edwards. The conversation is ongoing. is a positive one because Liverpool are trying to convince him and is taking his time to understand how it would be the structure. From what I understand, in case Michael Edwards accepts the job at Liverpool, he will be joined by Richard Hughes. It's a very concrete possibility. Uh, Hughes is leaving Barmouth at the end of the season and he could be one of the men to join uh, Michael Edwards in the new structure of Liverpool. So the conversation is ongoing on all these details of this uh, domino of directors around England, but Michael Edwards is in concrete conversations with Liverpool and Richard Hughes is a strong candidate to join him in case everything goes to plan. Remember that for Liverpool, timing will be important, so they can't wait for Edwards forever. It has to be now, March, otherwise they will move on and try different solutions. And then, guys... Lewis Hall. Today, Eddie Howe, Newcastle manager, spoke in press conference and said that they are close to triggering um, the option to sign Lewis Hall on a permanent transfer from Chelsea. What I'm hearing is that it is really imminent. So the expectation of all parties, Newcastle, Chelsea and player side, is that this deal will be permanent, uh, will not return to Chelsea. What does it mean for Chelsea? 33 million pounds, a really important one, a really important sale ahead of the summer transfer window. We know how important it is to sell players, but also to sell by the end of June for financial fair play rules. And this could be an important one for Chelsea, of course, important for Newcastle, because Eddie Howe says how they trust him for the future. He's been brought here for the long term, said Eddie Howe today, but for Chelsea also to receive this money is crucial. So this is really, really considered a matter of time. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on Luis Hall, Alfonso Davies, but also new Liverpool plans and all the other stuff, including Pierre Hoiberg. I wait for your opinion here in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio. Ciao.